Hi everyone, Altar of Wisdom speaking. Um, after the first uh, phase of working on my kick device, I've sent it to my patrons and a few friends of mine and uh, gathered the feedback that they had on the device. And uh, you won't be surprised to see that, we, that I've had some uh, interesting feedbacks. Um, and mostly um, on the graphical interface. Uh, it really means that the kick uh, device from a sound perspective is already quite a nice thing, but um, many people have asked to upgrade the graphical interface and have it a bit more convenient, um, especially uh, having a second window to be able to work on the amplitude and pitch points uh, with a bit more detail and a few other things. So I'm starting this new phase. Um, I'll probably do a bit of uh, a different way of working and not uh, but maybe not bothering you with all the uh, other things will, which I will do. Uh, as you have seen, uh, each session was like one hour and uh, found maybe a bit too long for people. So I'm going to shorten it and maybe cut parts and just highlight the parts which are interesting. And uh, so you will be able to comment and ask if I'm going too fast this time. But uh, hopefully you're going to like this second phase. So let's get on to it. All right then, so um, I've just written down uh, a few things that have been uh, sent to me. Uh, the first thing is uh, probably the main one is uh, to gather all this and uh, most of the uh, tools, the drawing tools, this and this, and have them in a separate window uh, to be able to scale it up and uh, work a bit more precisely. Um, um, then uh, I, th I thought about a few things as well. Uh, as you see here, uh, the uh, maximum and minimum pitch of the kick are set to MIDI notes. Uh, I probably want to add an offset which would be in sense uh, just to be able to fine tweak uh, the, the pitch of the kick, uh, if it makes sense. Um, we'll see if it has an interest, but I tried this feature to see if I can be a bit more precise. It's, uh, I think, a small, um, a small detail like the phase uh, start for the, uh, for the, for the kick, uh, which changed a bit, changes a bit the transients and uh, the doing the same and micro pitching can have a, a nice impact. So we'll see uh, how we can work with that. Um, I've been suggesting as well uh, from a coloring standpoint uh, to allow for people to change the colors that they want for the various elements. So I've started working just a little bit on this, just adding the, the right elements which are needed for doing so. Um, and on top of that, uh, these curves, uh, the functions that uh, we are using, um, is probably uh, interesting to have more options to edit uh, precisely a specific point, uh, change the snapping or remove the snapping if needed, and uh, anything, anything which, is, which enables more control on the, on the values of the of the points, um, I've as well been reported uh, a probable uh, bug in the amp envelope, but I haven't been uh, able to reproduce it so far. So we'll see if we um, encounter it during uh, our work. And uh, finally, I've been suggested as well to add a global a global uh, volume uh, out. Um, button and uh, matter, uh, which is an idea of mine. Uh, as uh, if you have been following my Patreon posts lately, I've just issued uh, a loudness measurement. So I think it's interesting to add elements from this loudness measurement in the kick device uh, so that you have a direct information about the volume uh, of the kick that you're working on. So let's get on to it. So the biggest effort uh, is to uh, put uh, most of these elements, uh, typically these four ones, uh, inside a separate window, but probably most of the stuff uh, will instead be sent on the separate window and not being a, at all in the main um, controller. I think that this thing, uh, which is the how the device is presented on live, 
um, will only contain just a few uh, a few knobs. Um, maybe maybe uh, my, my, I think the reference key can and the click uh, dropping area uh, are more convenient to stay here. Uh, the oval lens and a few controls can stay here as well, but I really need to put everything else uh, on a different uh, on a different window. So, how do we do that? Um, we're gonna firstly create a patcher, so it's gonna be an empty one, uh, like so. Um, I'm gonna configure this patcher to be open in presentation because I don't wanna have the the details and then in max I'm gonna uh, so let's name it um, so that's gonna be um, kick config example right then um, I'm gonna open it and as you see uh, it's in there, so I can use it. Uh, it's open in presentation. Is it? Yeah, I haven't changed it. And now what we can do is uh, place uh, most of the uh, the elements inside it. So uh, it's going to be a bit cumbersome. So uh, we probably do step by step. Um, Let's check on the main interface. Yeah, uh, we mostly need everything to get out of here. So maybe what I will do is copy everything. So just select in all of my device except this. Copy them and uh, put them here. So here you see a lot of stuff which doesn't make sense at all um, because I've put them on the presentation mode. Uh, let's switch to edit mode. I think this is edit mode and then, yeah, better. Now if I switch to presentation mode, I only have the visual visible elements. Uh, of course, if you copy and while in presentation mode, then you add stuff to the presentation instantly. So all this is here. Um, so what I told you is that uh, I want to, um, yeah, we'll see if we can change that because uh, this element uh, can be useful as well in the separate window, but I can't use just a duplicate. So we'll see how we use them. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to remove now most of this stuff, which is over there. So let's uh, be a bit brutal. Of course, I've saved my project before. Um, this is useless. Uh, all this can be removed as well. Um, the lens, I told you I wanted to keep it. Uh, we'll see how it works. Um, this, I don't care. And the ref kick and drop click uh, is probably something that I will need. Now we see that main interface has become quite empty. Uh, yeah, the switch between this and there is useless. Okay, uh, for now I'm keeping the min and max pitch and the lens because these are the three, the two three main elements that can be used. Uh, the show, yeah. All the information on the visibility of the waveform, they are useless as well. Don't need them. Uh, so that's this. This thing. And now I think I've cleaned up a bit. Um, and the color picker will get out of this and go into the subculture. It's already there, so we can just remove it. Okay. 
Um, so now what I do have is the exact same uh, visible elements that I had uh, previously. So it's not exactly what we want, uh, because I want something which is resizable. Uh, it's a key point, and um, it's a bit of an annoyance, because I have this thing, which is um, a sub-patcher, so it's not easy to zoom it. So let's see if there's a way to zoom uh, a sub-patcher automatically, but I'm not sure it's possible. I'm not sure if it's possible, but as you can see, we can zoom in and zoom out. Um, but I doubt it's possible to do th to do so. Uh, maybe let's check if this patcher allows us to control the overall level of zoom of the. Uh, well, that's maximizing. Because just setting the size, the presentation rectangle of this will not uh, have any impact on the on the zoom. So it's not it's useless to to try and work this way. Uh, so I probably will have to go deeper in my sub patches to uh, grow all the elements and maybe uh, get them out of the the patcher um, to have more control. So let's see how this thing is done. Yeah, it's uh, nothing complex, so it's probably better to get this uh, out of the east of the B patcher um, and have all these elements controlled. Um, it's a bit cumbersome because I'm, I will need to show them, hide them uh, one by one, um, but I can't seem to find a way to globally control the size of this thing and have everything zoom. So let's see uh, on the pitch if it's as simple. Yeah, those are, are quite simple. But um, what you're going to see is that I'm going to add quite a lot of stuff in these two because of the requests to have a bit more control. And so I'll, I'll have more elements to, to deal with, whatever. Um, so what we want is have uh, a picture which is controllable. So the first thing that we will do is um, actually be able to get the size. So we will use again the dispatcher. And what I will do is follow uh, using a Q metro. Q metro is like a metro, so it's a metronome uh, sending banks at regular intervals, regular intervals but uh, it's lower in terms of priority, so we won't take any CPU, uh, it's better to use that and say that every seconds it's gonna take to follow the size of the window. So if I just connect the bank out of this, you see that I'm receiving messages or not. Uh, yeah, active one. Yeah. So every second I'm getting this message. And what I want to do is, um, if you see this patcher, that's the one which is, it's very interesting. Um, it really allows to control a lot of things in the in a patcher or in a window. So what I want to do is uh, get, uh, get the window size. So I need to send the get size. So, So each time uh, the metro takes, I'm requesting the actual, the current size of my uh, window and I'm going to use the root as they do here. So that's uh, root window. So anything which begins by a window and again, root size. So I'm going to just intercept anything which is size. And if I connect the message here and use the right inlet to see what is sent. Uh, is that get size? Oh yeah, window get size. I need to send because I'm discussing with the window. So now you, what, what you see is the size of this window which I am in. So if I resize, you see it's changing. So how it's working, we have here 
the x coordinate of the top left, the y coordinate of the top left, and we have uh, and the same we have the x and y coordinates of the bottom right of the window. And so what I want to do now is use this information to change the size of my functions. So um, something I can do, um, I think I do have uh, named my envelope. So this has a name and it's named, uh, no it's not name, function, so let's name it. Um, so it's going to be amp envelope, that's the name uh, of this object. We'll see that it's going to be used to uh, control it from the distance without having to patch anything. Uh, so, so that's amp uh, envelope and this one will be pitch envelope again there as well. Okay, I can close this one. And now uh, what I will do is use this information to uh, change the size of this object. So uh, controlling another object is like patcher another window. We have the help of that. I think that's sandbox. Um, no, that's variables. And then sandbox. Yep. That's exactly it. So, as you see, I'm gonna uh, use this uh, message to say, okay, uh, that's a script. I want to send a message to a distant box. Uh, the name of the box I'm targeting is here, Toto. And I want to change this parameter from that box to this value. So this is exactly what we'll do um, now. So the box which I'm going to target is, for example, my pitch envelope. And what I want to change is the presentation rectangle. So if you see the presentation rectangle, it's here, presentation rect. If you don't see the, the names of the, the objects, it's, you have to activate them here. And uh, of course, I won't be using the full size, so let's skip it. Uh, but uh, one uh, a bit annoying element is that here the message I'm receiving is the uh, top left and bottom right coordinates. but uh, presentation rectangle expect the uh, top left and the width and height so uh, I can't use that uh, uh, instantly so what I will do is unpack uh, four uh, integers which will contain my coordinates uh, like so uh, the first two ones will be interested interesting because I'm gonna use them um, yeah, I'm going to repack afterwards to some values that will uh, decide, like so. So my x coordinate, let's say, is going to be the same. So it's going to be top left uh, on the left. Uh, I'm going to save some space on the top uh, for the controls. So let's say that I'm going to have like I don't know 50 pixels of margin. Or all this will be changed later anyway. And now uh, what I will need to use is uh, calculate from this and this the width of my, uh, uh, the width of my window, which is uh, not uh, readily available. So I'm going to have to minus here and there. So this is the y, the x, and uh, I need to make that active. So we're going to use TPI. TBI here, like so, 
to make sure it's going to be computed at each step. And same, TBI here for the Y coordinate. And now, out of this, I get the height of my window. So my height uh, has to be a bit less. So let's say minus 50. So I'm going to save here. And then I can connect that. And this is the message which I'm packing. So my uh, message will contain 455, 129, which is my X coordinate and my Y coordinate plus uh, oh yeah, no, that made a mistake, sorry. Because uh, uh, here is the position from the uh, from the top left of the patcher. So here actually is going to be zero, which I'm going to send. My fault. So T zero, I'm going to trigger. Sorry, that's not a message. I'm going to trigger a zero because my uh, presentation rectangle will start from zero. And uh, here, my top coordinate, my top coordinate will be uh, 50, so t 50. So I'm starting from 0 and 50 uh, from the top of my window, and my width and height are like so. And this is what I will send to my pitch envelope. So again, I need a dispatcher, so I'm not going to make a loop. It doesn't make sense. And again, uh, and this is the uh, one. And we have a message with four, uh, a list with four elements. So I'm going to do use dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, and dollar four. And now we have my uh, we totally have my uh, pitch envelope, which is following the size of my uh, picture, or not? <laughs> pitch envelope. Yeah, it doesn't receive the message somehow. Uh, let's try to do something and add a, a dispatcher uh, input to this thing. I will see if it's better and it's possible. Okay, and now this is going to be sent to uh, that input. Shouldn't be necessary, but still, uh, yeah. Looks like it, uh, like it is. So I still need to connect to the proper patcher. So it should have worked on the. If I change the, the size. Yeah, you see that now it's following. Okay. Um, anyway, let's uh, just. Okay, let's keep this for now, uh, even though I'm not happy. Uh, with these cables uh, running around, um, but I'm gonna need to do the same for the amp envelope. So let's change it right now, and we'll uh, check later uh, if it's if we change it. Okay, and uh, like so. And like so. There we go. Yeah, something going wrong with the uh, presentation rectangle uh, of the B patcher. And uh, um, yeah, that's the. It still works. Yeah, this one is working, so I can close it. And uh, let's open the this one. to change the size of both my, uh, oh, I have two names which are similar. Let's change this one to pitch. Maybe that's why, it, what, that's the reason why it didn't work. Pitch, so that's going to be a pitch editor. And then this is going to be the amp editor. Probably that's the reason why 
we had some issues. So let's try again to remove these cables. wants to be connected directly all right then. but now uh, what I can do is uh, change the size of this as well and uh, in this case I'm, not, I'm gonna need only presentation right and this is gonna be sent to my uh, vpatchers which probably will disappear, but for now I want to keep them like so and like so. So if I change now, um, we have some errors. Bad rect, bad number. Ah, interesting. Um, it's only on pitch envelope. And let's check if my B-patches are following. At least. Uh, no, they are not. Um, somehow they don't receive the message. Okay, so let's use the script as well. Script sandbox. two cables and uh, do that because the battery might not be controlled directly and pitch editor as well and now same message the values are wrong but it's no big deal I'm just checking that it works yeah. so now you see that the size of my uh, pitch envelope uh, is following uh, still have the amp envelope not working yeah this one is apparently not following my requests uh, yeah it does but uh, it's wrong <laughs> presentation rectangle is not following uh, what I'm asking to it that's weird let's just make sure that we're receiving problem messages Oh. I'm receiving an empty message, which would be weird. Doesn't change anything normally, but uh, still, I want to make sure about what ha what's getting into this one is working. Um, so that's this one which is causing us troubles. This thing is useless. Okay. Maybe this is what screws up. Oh, yeah. My fault. I've connected here this to that instead. Okay. Should be working now. Um, yeah, right. Sorry. So now if I switch to presentation mode, I'm, I'll see that uh, my two envelopes are following the size of my main uh, window, which is what I wanted to. Um, but now we have to think about how we're gonna put, where we're gonna put the controls, um, um, probably on top. So I will need uh, to uh, put uh, many things, probably like uh, the, um, the values, the information, the pitch, minimum, max pitch, uh, snapping, the grid size, and all these elements will be on top. So the 50 pixels 
might do, uh, but now I need to to reorganize. So my departure uh, will probably be on the top, um, uh, but I still have this uh, kick, the reference kicks, uh, these elements which should be uh, always present. Uh, again, uh, I usually will only show the pitch envelope or the amp envelope, but not both at the same time. So I'm going to hide uh, or change the position of them. Um, I'm going to keep the control for the waveform and the reference um, on my picture. So this will be permanent controls, but I will have also uh, temporal uh, controls. So. So now the thing which is annoying is that they all get in the way. So I'm going to change that a bit and put them a bit uh, more to the right. Uh, same. Uh, let's, let's keep like 50 pixels to the left as well. So we have a bit of room to work and uh, we'll see what's the actual value, what the actual value should be. And so this will be uh, 50. So now my uh, yeah, 50 is not even enough if I want to keep some elements. So let's say 100. So it's going to be a different value uh, for the departures, but it's not a problem for the time being. Just to, let's say we're making space for the rest of the elements. Like so. So now, how you see uh, all these things, uh, yeah, I can. Uh, so this will be controlled as well. This also. Um, but we need, yeah, that's the background. So we're gonna work as well and resize the background, but it's not something urgent. We can keep that for, lay, for later. And now we will use, uh, we will need to copy, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to remove them from presentation for the time being because it's really annoying. No, they don't, they don't get in the way at all. I can uh, remove that and I need to put this like so. Uh, let's check what's the actual width of this thing. It's 90 pixels, so 100 seems, to, seems fair in terms of uh, offset for the uh, for the departures um, and the lens so this is one of the elements that I will always want to be available so they are not inside any departure um, the phase as well, I would say, because it's not really dependent on the pitch or the uh, amp. It's really uh, an element which is needed at all times. Yeah, for some reason, when you copy uh, elements uh, with a live text, then you lose the centering of it. It's uh, to me, it's somehow a bug in, uh, in life. Anyway, um, showing the waveform and the reference is useful, so it's going to be needed there. Um, the rest, yeah, the logo as well. I'm going to probably uh, keep the logo here with just a connector to uh, open my website, as I usually do. Uh, I'm going to have to put the switch, uh, the display switch here between pitch and envelope and uh, an amp. Um, then I think we're good. Um, so uh, this is normally a part of my uh, the patcher for the uh, for the pitch. So I'll probably uh, will embed them inside uh, the inside the patcher, but as I'm gonna use them, so let's see how I can do that. So this is the lens. Uh, so these elements 
how what I want to put in my in, in my uh, pitch envelope. So let's encapsulate them. It's probably simpler to do it like so. Well, no, not working like like that. It's a bit annoying when you want to place something inside the departure when it, while it's outside. So I'm gonna end up copying them and uh, pasting them inside my uh, departure before removing them. So we have uh, all these. And uh, this is connected to ent entry in inlet number three and this to inlet number four. And, uh, but we have some outlets uh, which has to be, have to be added. So I have one outlet here and another one there. Um, so with this one, uh, this will go to the M2F and the other one as well. Uh, do we have anything else? I don't think so. So uh, this is connected to here. This is connected to there. Um, and we have that output uh, thing, which has to be triggered when we change something. So I probably need a new, another output, which will be triggered uh, like so as it was inside. So these two things correspond to this and that, this and this. And uh, so this will be connected to the last inlet. Yeah, so restructuring is always a, a bit cumbersome. And same for here. So now uh, I can remove uh, the third and fourth inputs, which will clean up. And so now we see, oh yeah, we have another element here. Uh, yeah, these are available. Yeah, I mean, so that's it. output three and four instead. This is going to be output three, and this will be four. So now this is connected to nothing. I can remove it. Same here, same here. And all this is to be removed. So I have normally, <laughs> normally uh, changed it for good. Let's align all this. Yeah, we'll have to clean up, of course. For now it's okay. Ish. <laughs> and I think that I will put the controls on the top. So uh, 
what's the actual height of this? Um, so it's starting at 50 and ending, uh, no, it's, yeah, 50 plus 18, so roughly 70 in terms of height. So I have, I'm gonna have to save 70 pixels from the top. So let's change uh, these messages. So what you see now is that the size that we have to send to the sub batcher is different from the one uh, we are using for the uh, uh, for the editor themselves. So um, we'll need to um, use this again. So let's remove that and this, and I'm gonna use a copy of that. Uh, so my uh, envelopes will start at zero. They're gonna be to, uh, to the left. Uh, y coordinate will be 70. There is no minus anything, so that's going to be the full width and uh, the height minus 70 because I want to have this. And I can reuse. Uh, so this is used directly, this as well. But this one are using. The output of my minus here and uh, those two are sent to my sub patches instead like so so now if I put this back on my presentation it should yeah it should be placed where exactly I want so that's good. So I have space for my uh, configuration element, but my uh, envelope is uh, following. Good. Let's save. And of course, now we need to clean up. <laughs> good. So, uh, of course, this is a mess. So I'm going to do this offline. cleaned up a bit uh, and I've simplified one thing here because uh, as you uh, may remember uh, when I'm touching this uh, things uh, I want to redraw my kick so I used to have a fifth outlet which was only used to trigger this uh, bang here but uh, as the dump out uh, the, this outlet is already receiving bangs when the envelope has changed. Uh, just connected this outlet to a uh, bang triggering, so uh, it's it will just do the same using the second outlet of this batcher. So I don't need the fifth one. It's a bit more simple. Uh, I could even just connect this directly because uh, this message is only intercepted uh, to trigger a bang. So I don't even need to have another bank, but that's uh, not a big deal. Uh, we're going to do the same on the um, amp envelope. As you see, uh, not much happening here. Uh, so I probably don't have to do anything as the amp already uh, is self-contained. Um, but uh, I will still need to have some controls uh, here. Of course, this display will have to move somewhere, and uh, but I will add uh, new things uh, that I will need to copy from one envelope to the other. So we just need to decide which one we're going to work first. Um, I'm going to grab things probably from another device of mine, which is the Envelooper, uh, because it already contains quite a lot of stuff to uh, um, tweak. Uh, an envelope, so I'm going to copy this and uh, report back and explain uh, what, I, what it's doing and how I'm using it, but uh, no need to redo it from scratch uh, right now. So, of course, you can uh, ask questions on the comments if something is not clear enough. <laughs> 